and welcome back everybody to another M.O. Sim production. Today I'm here with you with another SMP, um, Boys Survival. Um, so again, no one's here with me, uh, which is just kind of weird, and that's fine. Um, today, so I did a lot more work on the library, as you can probably see here, and um, since y'all last saw it, I talked about starting over there. Well, I got the dirt built in, built in but right now there's another thing that is going on on and spawn that I'm going to go ahead and go take um take use of but first let's show what I did here let me see do I got any signs in here before I get going I'll take those with me and those I guess because I didn't know they were in there and I need more of those anyway um I don't see any signs so I can grab that and just grab I probably got signs in the chest somewhere um, ah, I'll show that, I'll show that here in a second. I gotta go find another library, and why do y'all meet way over there instead of at this bell? There's a bell right back there for y'all to meet at. Give me those. Where'd the other one go? No. Oh, there he is. Did you level up? I think you did. Power two. Clock. Not that great still, but okay. But, um, yeah. So, I need these real quick. I'm going to, um, I'm trying not to get too loud because my baby is asleep. And what I'm doing here is just, th this right here is pretty much like Alex's, um, magic tower. Except with, what are you eating, cat? Except it's here. And it's a library, not a, um, not whatever his is. Uh, I got, I can't place it there. I'll place that there for now. Moon, what are you eating? Stop eating trash, Moon. So that should keep it somewhat lit up until I can get better lighting in here. I'm still going to have a bunch of carpet in here. Have not done that yet, though. Of course, um, I don't really quite know what I'm going to do with the top. I know I'm going to put something up here. What is it, Moon Moon? And um, that's it. First, I'm going to try and fill this up. So I just need three more lecterns to have the bottom done. And of course, I need to feed all my villagers. Um, let me go get my pickaxe. And then we're going to go over to spawn real quick. And um, that shouldn't be too hard. Grab my pickaxe. I'll grab my shovel too, because why not? And I'm just going to leave this here for now. Really need to make a silk touch pickaxe. Alright, um, until then, I will see you at spawn. Oh, I didn't hit it. Alright, and welcome to spawn. Um, now i got to find the area in which I'm actually looking for. Um, why is there none in that in that chest? All of our cards keep disappearing. All right, there needs to disappear too. Um, so pretty much what it is is Adam has started a place for embassies, and um, I don't know if he's got them marked out yet, but he said that there was some free area to have for embassies, and that everyone could build them. Polar bear conservation center. Uh, I don't think we have a problem with polar bears right now, considering it has been snowing for the last two days here in South America, like in North America, but southern border. So yeah, I'm gonna assume that this over here. That's what he's talking about. Cause I remember he mentioned behind the animal farms. I might fill in this spot here. Let's see, is Adam on? I'm on anywhere? Is he? He's not. I'm gonna shoot him a message and see what he says. There's a few things I need to get ready anyway. So I know this area here is really for it, but right here would be perfect for them. So let me shoot him a message real quick. Let me take a picture of this first, actually. I'm gonna send him the picture. Now let me. Send them this. 
All right, and we are back. So I talked to Adam. Can't use that spot. That's for the chicken coop. So go in here. Go to I think I will go here instead. No, because everyone else is gonna be facing this way, so I might have like two doors going in. And that'll be fine. Be just fine. So first thing I want to do is definitely get rid of some of the snow. I want to have my floor here. Make sure it'll be fine. It is really lagging today still. Just gotta get all this cleared out. And we will have an embassy started. So, let's uh see how I want to do this. I want that side because I'm going to put like uh, bushes and stuff there. So I'm definitely going to first just kind of fill out the floor. I know I'm losing some brick doing it like this. But that's fine. I was supposed to be here. Hopefully I don't get too big with this. I'm going to have to get all fancy on my inside decorating. I don't quite know how I'm going to do it quite yet, but I am. Um, break that up. Come on. Right there. Perfect. So I got these logs and I didn't convert them for a reason. It was simply so I could do this right here. Two, three, four. Four looks fine. One, two, three, four. I don't plan on stripping these at the moment. Four, just like that. And um, probably going to have some kind of stone brick column. I really should have brought some scaffolding with me. Let's see if they have any over here. But uh, yeah, I should have brought some, some um, words, please. Scaffolding. So I can actually see, not see, but so I can actually work up high. Let's see, so Zedra maybe? Um, none there. So let's check in wood. Come on, buddy, stop pushing me. Okay, can y'all not can y'all not bully me today? That would be lovely if you would stop. So I know it's I don't remember if it's bamboo and string or what it is. Craft scaffolding. Moon, you better not be chewing on anything.
already went through those. That's just some work I thought I said load stone. Alright, let's see what it takes to make scaffolding. Uh, bamboo and string. One string. So six bamboo. So I really just need string. It's two that will give me. I think that'll give me enough. Gotta go get me some bamboo. That should be fun. See, is the guard still up there? No. Looks like he went down. Or got out, one of the two. Okay, that should be enough of that. And now I should be able to come over here and Start, um, I don't even build a crafting table just because I need one. I didn't bring one with me, which is surprising because I always have a crafting table. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Someone had just come in, is all and that's not good. Ah, all right, so. This right here is pretty much what I'm thinking. Of course. Great cross like this. I think I made enough. Go all the way around. I don't know if I'm going to like this roof, though. That's practically all stone brick right now. And I, that's just one texture all the way around. Really, I want to do something like this. Ah, shit, I turned all of them into steps. Oh, well. It is what it is. Oh, well. That's still not enough, huh? Okay. Well, um, guess I'll need to go cook some, cook up some more stone, and then come back. Well, I got some normal stone still. Hold on. Do that. And I'm actually gonna turn that into that.
just like that. Just like that, yep. Perfect. Yep, that right. Definitely, gosh darn it, <laughs> done it twice now. There. So that gets that done. Um, I still gotta put some light on the outside. Still not completely done with it. Okay. Alright, and now I'm back. Alex has showed up, finally. Hey, don't act like it was an expectation. I may have had shit to do today, like clearing all that snow off the tarp that uh, covers our boat. Well, why'd you get in this call then? Because I already did that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so I need to fill this out some. Figure out exactly how big I want this to be. That yeah, might he's working on an embassy. Now we're working on many embassies. We? The server. Right, so there's more people on? Oh, not right now, no. No. Well, he's working on an embassy because Adam suggested an embassy be built for every village in spawn. I, on the other hand, decided I wasn't going to do it because all it would do was mean something else I have to clean up. Just what I needed. I have to make eight red glass um, blocks. Might even make more. My uh turn those into panes. Yeah, I saw how your library was coming along. Yeah, I uh, got a lot more lecterns today. I'm not very impressed. Why is that? Well, can I put this into words? I mean, the building itself looks very nice, but when I look at it, it doesn't exactly scream library. You know, the building is nice. I just don't know if the design fits the purpose. And it's to me, library. I don't see grand picturesque windows like you have there. I picture more quaint and isolated things, focusing more on the bookshelves. Now, I like the way that you have the bookshelves wrapping around the tops of the lecterns mm -hmm. and all that. With the lantern above it, which does actually work. Believe it or yeah, not, I, the lectern, because it's the, cause, not the lectern, because the lantern isn't a full block, they could still use it. <laughs> Charlie, I, I, I know this. I'm, I'm fully aware. I know, what but. I was, actually, I was actually going to say was, when someone tells me that there's a library, I always picture a more labyrinthine style structure. Now, what would definitely change my opinion on that building is if you added wings, like, back behind it and to the sides of it that were, like, just rows upon rows of bookshelves. Now, that would definitely be more convincing to me that it is a library. I mean, it's you not 100% know? finished. I am ex um, expecting to put on wings, and then the upstairs area... I don't know if that's where those different wings are going to go or if I'm just going to put more lecterns up there, but I think I'm going to expand wings up there. Okay. Is what I'm thinking, but I don't exactly know for a fact. If I do put the wings up there, that means the wings will be exp will be up and uh, lifted off the ground, and the spots under the wings will be multi-purpose. Hmm. Like it might be a spot for um, cattle. I'm not sorry. cattle, not cattle, horses. Spots, spots for cat? Wow. What, cattle and horses in a library? Now, hold on. That's true. No. And I know I used, I know I called it a grand library, but it ended up not being a grand library, so. I need one lantern. Let's see. Uh, 
I can make that happen. That won't be hard. So, all the way back to the super smelter here and spawn. I'm not even going to worry about sugar cane anymore. I think I got what I need, um, for the most part, for bookshelves. That little dungeon raid I did the other day paid off a good bit. Lots of paper and bookshelves. I went to uh, one of the other strongholds pretty much and I, um, what's it called, um, I, I took the bookshelves from the stronghold. One of the strongholds. Hmm. I was told it was okay, so. Strongholds aren't considered any kind of historic monument except for the portal room, from what I understand. So there's a spot. I wanted to put my embassy there. It was a nice little tucked in spot, really small, you know, just the perfect size for something for the embassy I'm doing. And I asked Adam just to make sure because it's not one of the set out spots, but it's in the area. It's right here, like, between the sheep farm and then the, the fields of crops. That little tiny spot. And he told me that someone was planning on putting a chicken farm there. So a I couldn't chicken do. farm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's something we need. Uh, that, that was my first thought, too. But I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to let it happen. You're not going to make waves, eh? Mm. No. I feel like I should probably put chains up there. How do you make chains? I've never made chains. Um, hold on. Be more descriptive about how you're going to use the chains, because I could tell you if it's a good idea or not. Uh, go down and put a lantern on the bottom of it. Oh, so like hanging lanterns from the roof? Mm -hmm. It's on the outside, though. Well, that, that could work out. Um, That's not too hard. It's like, okay, let me remember here. Okay, it's, I think uh, I remember. It's, it's an iron nugget. Two and nuggets and one ingot. An iron ingot and then another iron nugget in a row. Yep. Yeah. Moon, why are you pressing buttons on my keyboard? Moon is pressing buttons because Moon wishes to disrupt your horseshit. He literally reached up and pushed the spacebar. He pushed the spacebar because he hates you. Nah, he's just a sweet kitty. -ki. Oh, look at that villager. I wonder if the villager that was stuck in the watchtower got out. Uh, the villager in the watchtower at spawn? Yeah. yeah he's oh, not I up here anymore. Why? Yeah. I took him out because I didn't want to have to move 15 damn villagers around to try and solve the population crisis. I only had to move two from our Mooseville village. Oh, you brought more villagers in? Yeah, I had to bring some in. There just weren't enough here, or they were so spread out that I'd never be able to get them to an area where they could breed. This is why I started the Farm Bureau. I needed villagers nearby the farms to guarantee that their population would continue to increase. I actually thought just Adam simply... spawned on villagers. That's no. so what I was thinking happened. No, no, he didn't, he didn't spawn any villagers. I, literally, it was just... Me shoving villagers into a hut and him helping a little bit while he was working on a polar bear habitat. Yeah, I and saw then that. Working on the upstairs. Yeah, I, I, I saw the polar bear conservation. I don't think we need to converse, con conservate polar bears. That's I don't like global warming out there. Charlie. Yes. It is happening. I know it is, but it's. Don't 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 be denying it. It's not happening. The real question is, how do we actually deal with it? And I don't think giving millions of dollars to the Democrats is going to help. No. I don't and think that's going to fix anything. What's won't. really going to fix something is people like Elon Musk developing better battery technology and also improving the ways in which we deal with the waste from it. 
Mm -hmm. I feel that people developing new forms of green energy that don't give China billions of dollars in basically foreign donations will actually help fix it. I feel that all of these things and a slow and gradual moving away from fossil fuels will help to solve it. But I yes. do not feel that denying it is a good idea. I'm not denying it. I'm saying... You said so... that don't look like global warming out there. And yeah, but I that's understand. not denying it. it. To me, that's not denying it. To me, that's um, no saying, I mean... I mean, it is kind of a joke, yes, but I mean, global warming isn't something we're, we're going to stop, though. It's just something we can slow down. Well, no, we can. Well, that's... Okay, let, let, me, uh, let me put it into more feasible terms. Okay. Global warming is something that we are, in fact, partially responsible for. Yes, and, and I will you agree see, with it's that. It's accelerating and increasing in temperature because we are releasing an abundance of greenhouse gases into the upper atmosphere. Yes, and I will agree with that. What However, I'm saying is it also meets with a planetary warming trend that was uh -huh. uh -huh. So in other words, we're just slightly aggravating something that was already going on. Yeah, I know. I'm fully aware. And that, that that's what I'm saying is it's not something that that we caused. It was something that was already happening to begin we're with. Just and it worse. Yeah, we just made it worse. Yeah, who knows? Maybe the dinosaurs will come back. That would be amazing. Yeah, the birds are still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've got a drink fountain, I've got a counter, I practically made a bar. <laughs> Sounds like you some kind of... You basically turned your embassy into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> practically, yeah. Could be worse, I guess. Could By be a strip way, club. Kingdom yeah. Hearts Birth by Sleep. It its combat flow is just so much better than the original Kingdom Hearts. It, it's not even funny. Seriously. And the old Kingdom Hearts, every single combat encounter just felt like a difficult, grindy mess. But on this game where you have so many different combos and moves that you can do. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the motions are so fluid and dynamic, even when you're fighting the most frustrating and annoying enemies possible, it it's just generally a great combat experience. I mean, they're going to hit you, they're going to block you at every chance they get, but... At the end of the day, the fluid combat dynamics is just really what makes this game great. And that's what I love so much about it. Yep. I feel like I'm going to hear something about someone. I mean, from someone about how this is not an embassy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be the first one to say something. Oh. Like, hey, this new bar opened up over here. I don't... <laughs> I'm just going to come in there while you're not looking, take down all the signs or anything that would point to it being an embassy, and I'm just going to say, welcome to the Icebox Bar. <laughs> oh, you probably won't have to do it. You probably won't have to. Really? Why is that? Because I'm probably oh going to do God. something stupid along, along the lines anyway. Oh, I got me flip those around. Those are the wrong way. What if I have that? Nope. I have that like this. So can I still open that chest? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Now I need some slabs. I'm literally micro crafting. What's micro crafting? I'm not crafting things until I absolutely need it. 
Oh, so like I always do? Mm-hmm. How do you make a jukebox? Is it redstone and wood? Um, a jukebox, I think, may be redstone, wood, and a diamond. Or just wood and a diamond. I can't remember. You might be right. If that's the case, I'm going to have to go home and get me a jukebox. Or make me a jukebox. Don't you shoot at me. Stupid strays. I'm in spawn and can't even be safe. Alright, so um, let me, I guess, go to the crafting table first and search that up. It's wood and a diamond. So I need to go get a diamond for that, and I also want to make me a, um, um, what's it called? Swiss. No. A brewing stand. No, uh, a brewing stand. A sandwich? Yep. Gosh, I want to make a brewing stand for it. The Hobgoblin Matriarch? You're a Hobgoblin Matriarch. Hey, I'm no broodmare. I kind of wish I could trap a villager in there. No, Charlie. You'd have to bring your own citizens to it. After all, an embassy is always banned by citizens from the nation it is uh, from. You'd have to bring someone in from Icebox. Oh, I've got plenty of citizens for that right now. Plenty. And they're all employed now, too. Are they, though? They actually are. Well, I'd expect such a thing from a socialist. What? Socialist? Communist. Oh, yes. Uh, a communist is a socialist, is an anarchist. I, I know, it's all the same thing. Really, it is. Uh, um, and really, uh... uh well, no, that's not true. Anarchists are very different from socialists and communists. No, the sure. difference is, yeah, uh, no, I was actually more just saying because I feel that every village should have a few villagers who are just complete nitwits just to fit the actual way of how capitalism works. Yeah. <laughs> because there's going to be someone who just doesn't fit the bill. Uh-huh. So I got a jukebox and now I need cobblestone. Three cobblestone and one blaze rod. And guess where all of my blaze rods are? I don't know, jammed up your ass? Or... Nope, they're all in the super smelter. However, my super smelter is full to the I brim. Mean, if, you, if you'd start wearing armor, you could maybe just go to the blaze farm and get the tons of free ones just sitting around. I was at the blaze farm yesterday. That's why you found me in the nether. I was leaving with like two stacks of blaze rods and fully way, enchanted weapons. Why did, why did you think I was trying to kill you there exactly? Because you shot the trident at me. I shot the trident at the wall by you. If I wanted to hit you, I would have. I think you <laughs> did. I don't remember. No, I, no, no, I didn't hit you. Missed mm -hmm. completely. Didn't even get near hitting you. You were gone be behind the corner before I even let go. I don't know, I, I, I barely remember feeling like you hit me. No, no, you just thought I was. That was the thing. And that might also be true. Either that or you were lagging like crazy. I don't know, I know I I've, I've had some lag today. I only heard, I've only heard the sound of the tri yeah, I only heard the sound of a trident hitting the wall. Not so much the sound of it hitting a person. So I logged on earlier, and I literally didn't even get to fully load in before things exploded. Before something exploded, and it didn't damage anything. It what, was what exploded? a creeper out by my library just randomly exploded for no reason. Yeah, it happens. It happens from time to time, and I wish we could figure out what caused it. Well, because it exploded on a, a it exploded on a golem though, because it killed a golem. 
I don't know why it killed the golem. An iron golem. This has happened before. Yeah. Yes. You once came into my, I think it was either you or Adam. One of you came into the feast hall and said, oh, there's a big hole here. Uh, that was and me I'm who like, found the hole. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? And I come in there and I'm like, well, I heard an explosion earlier, but I was nowhere, I couldn't see where it was, so I, I guess mystery solved. Mm -hmm. As soon as I heard it, I, I knew it was something similar to that, and I looked around for it. Yeah, because creepers don't just explode for no good damn reason. Sometimes they do, but it's weird on what causes it. But there's, like, it's, there's random. You know what What I think would be a very awesome way to put up a creeper defense? What? If in 1.17, they make it where if you put leather armor on an armor stand, mm -hmm. and then put some kind of head on it, the creepers will think it's a person. Well, it's an idea. You know, creepers and zombies will think it's a person. Put like a pumpkin head on it. That would work. Have it to where like the pumpkin heads will break the player heads don't. Yeah. I like the fact that um you could put player heads on um stands, but I don't know about pumpkin heads. Yeah, I don't think so. What are you doing up here? Why is there a master mason way over here? There's going to be a jukebox with no music, because I don't have any music disc. I've tried to get them, I just haven't done it yet. I haven't been lucky enough. It's, uh, get a skeleton to shoot a creeper, right? Yeah, either that or just find them in a chest. Yeah, but you can't get them all from chest. Actually, I think you can. The only one I think you can't get from dungeon chests... It's Pig Step, which you can only get in a bastion. Yes. And if you wanted a copy of Pig Step, I could tell you where to get one. No, I'm good. It's free. Yeah, but then I gotta go get it. All you'd have to do is go to the strip club in Tatooine. Or rather, Dorito Town. Why is that? Because they got three copies of it sitting in chests. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not going to happen, but did we ever go, we never cleared that bastion that we found before, whenever we found the, um, nether dungeon. Oh, I came in here for something, the, uh, nether fortress. Oh, that, I don't think anyone's going to bother to, because it's right next to lava and it has all those holes in the wall. Well, that's normally how they spawn. I came in here for something, now I can't remember what. Can't remember at all what I came in here for. Signs. So I'm looking for different kinds of wood. I'm looking for lighter wood. Oh, there's some birch signs right here, and that's exactly what I need. That's what I'm looking for. I love how whenever we first got on here, everybody just practically had clear glass on all of their builds, and now people are starting to move over to the colored glass. Yeah, it's because there's more access to sand, thanks to Paul. And that is true, but, like, people were using full blocks instead of panes in a lot of places, which also didn't make sense. But, like, the colored glass, I mean, why, why wouldn't you use colored glass anyway still? Well, mainly because it's a lot more trouble to make a large amount of colored glass panes than it is just to make normal panes. This is true. I mean, I don't feel like using colored glass panes simply because uh, I, I really don't feel that they do anything. Now, when they do that whole tinted glass thing, maybe. <sighs> Hold on a second. Tinted glass would be cool. 
Hey, Charlie, I gotta go for a sec. Uh, important something came up. And welcome back. Ouch. Ah! Just, yeah, we, you know, we just fighting we just zombies. Got some very serious dark news between. Yeah. There. So let's um. Let Let's focus back on some something more. Ah. Yeah, that's not me dying. Put up some signs. Uh, did one or two things on the inside. Let me go inside and kind of heal up for a second. Put up these right here just to make the lights look a little better. I think this building is really done. Hmm. Hey, Charlie. By the way. What? Here's, I had this idea uh, a few minutes ago. Uh huh. So, what if we, tr you know, because how we've been having some trouble with D and D scheduling because people missing Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. Yep. What if we tried doing uh, D and D using Discord? Uh, well, because that makes maps and all that pain to do because then I've got to stream my um, screen and then people like me well, if it's someone else's turn stream the screen all you would have to do is just fill the chat up with all the things you know we would need like the pictures and references and all that yeah but that also then leaves um th th there's a lot of things that could go wrong with doing that is the problem yeah I I mean, I, I understand. It was just a thought that I had that, that I'm like... I've thought hey, about you know, it a lot, but it's yeah. there's too much that can go wrong. Yeah. I've actually wanted to try some online uh, Dungeons & Dragons, but I just wouldn't know where to start or what the technical minutia would be. That would be the thing, though. Uh, uh, a lot of times, the online Dungeons & Dragons, where it's just like random people, a lot of times those do not go well. Yeah, I could imagine. Like, pe people don't get along. It's, there's it's, a weirdo saying weird shit. Yeah, it's, there's a whole, it's a whole thing with um, yeah. doing, doing it with um, people you don't know and all that. And it's, it's just hard. And then, of course, you got the whole entire, if, if one person's internet isn't very good, it kind of ruins the experience for either that person and sometimes even the whole party. Like, if we did that, with me being the um, GM. Person, yeah, being the GM, it would um, it it would really make things annoying, for maybe you because I might be lagging. Yeah. And it also makes it to where I can't sit there and like check your sheets and all that and make sure everyone is doing things and all and that. And not fudging their roles. Yeah, it it makes it really hard to do. now. There's software that you could use to do all that, but even the software is not really random. Like we could try like roll twenty, but I mean that costs money. Does it? Yes. Oh. Hey, you know there was a phone app that Neckbeardia uh said something about something about it being a free phone app with with customizable sprite features and shit. I've looked at a lot of the phone apps. I really have. Well, no, I think it literally was just a sprite maker thing, but um, uh oh, yeah, okay. not, not actually a D and D game. Yeah. But yeah, just made sprites for it or something like that. But um, yeah, I haven't really heard of a lot of good alternatives, unless of course somebody just joined a Discord server or something made for D and D. But even then, like you said, there's that whole problem with the um. Uh, you know, people being weird. Yeah. There's always going to be problems with it. Yeah. Always. It's just one of those things. Well, I'd have to say um, that my embassy is finished. Um, oh, God. I feel like I want to put up a sign that says um, two drinks per player. <laughs> Max. You know, you, sh you should try and make a potion of nausea. I don't even know, I don't know how. Hold on, hold on. I know Suspicious Stew can. Pretty sure Suspicious Stew can. I'm going to go empty my inventory. I'm going to bring back some leaves and build some bushes. Hello, non-sleeping villagers.
So you missed all the fun yesterday. What happened? Oh uh, well, I I got on a boogie board attached to a dog. On the snow. Yeah. You can only imagine what happened after that. Oh, yeah, I know what can cause the nausea effect. Uh, I think suspicious too, but that's all I know. Eating a puppet. Not that calls poison. Yeah, I think it also causes poison in some way. Yep, it causes poison four, poison two. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. It'll only cause poison two in 1.17. Right now it causes four. Mm. And then in Java edition, it causes nausea for 15 seconds. Oh, we're on Java. I know. I said Java. Oh, I mean, you said, and then on Java, it causes nausea. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we're on. It's Java. Um, mm. Let's empty my inventory. I'm going to go take some bushes. You know, yeah. I wish that they would merge Java and... Uh, Bedrock? Bedrock edition, just so that they would give us the best of both worlds in each game. Because seriously, some of them have features that are just like, why don't we have that? That seems like it would be a good idea. And then the, there are others like, wow, they have to deal with that. That that really sucks for them. Uh -huh. I wish they would just merge the two together so that you know they would get a single unified set of rules to follow. Yeah. Uh, I need to go grab my shears. Not where my shears are. And, and I would agree with that, yes. Because, um, like, Java Edition, not Java, um, Bedrock Edition, they have a whole thing where they can shoot the bell with tools and it will um, um, ring the bell. And on Java Edition, you ring the bell, it highlights enemies in a raid but you could you can't shoot the bell on java edition like you can on um other editions bedrock. yeah like on bedrock i recently considered making some spectral arrows so i'm not sure why not sure why either but okay well probably so when i shoot you you can't escape and that would be yeah, that makes, makes sense. You glow, glow through walls. Yeah. Uh huh. So does does your is your track even open anymore? Coming from my um, place out. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been open for a long time. The Honios don't actually take the track. Mm -hmm. They like to trash the track as much as they can, but they don't take it. Well, well, how do they trash it? Well, there was one time when they basically just took all of the mine carts from. Um, my chest and just sent him down the line. Mm. Yeah, all the mine carts from all the mine carts from my station and spawn is missing, or they were. Mm. Oh come on, I need to go back the other direction. Why is it that you originally suggested that a whole bunch of mine carts were at Tobago again? Hmm. What? Yeah, there was one once a time when we were all like. Where'd all the mine carts go? And you said, I think Bradley has a lot of them at Tobago. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because there, uh, there was a lot we, there. Well, then when we finally went looking for them to try and figure out where they were, none of them were to in Tobago. Uh, well, there was a bunch of chests there. Oh, I never saw them when I went looking. No, that was, no, last time I was in Tobago, but I haven't been there in a while. And they may have been taken since then and moved on. There was something. I just came back from something. I don't remember what it is. Came back for something else. I can't remember what it was.
I got leaves. I was wanting to do that. Gosh darn it. I just don't remember anymore. I just keep forgetting. Well, I guess I'll go back again and maybe I'll remember. Don't remember at all. So there's a sign at the work hut. What does the sign say, Charizard? Uh, nothing. I gotta go pick it up. It says laser beams. Uh, it says, uh, limit two per player. Don't remember. Gosh darn it. Well, I'll eventually remember. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually, yes. Immediately. So this is how my signs go. It says, um, on one side where the double doors are, because I'm kind of in a corner. One side says, um, um, icebox bar. And then on the other side of the door, it says embassy around the corner. And then when you go around the corner and you get to the single man door, it says Icebox Embassy. Yeah. And it just goes into the same room. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to put like a tower on it. Like I kind of want it like a rustic tower in a way. Like a medieval tower or something. And um, I was going to do that. But, uh, yeah, you should have built it out of ice. Oh. <sighs> That would have been brutal. Yeah, I know. It'd be an actual icebox with beer. <laughs> mm hmm Gosh darn. <laughs> oh. And I did at least stick to the spruce wood thing. I did stay to that. Yeah. So... That was a um a good thing. I actually had spruce trees planted over here for me to harvest during yeah. all that. Yeah, I replanted those. No, no, I planted some, and then when I got done, I took them down. Oh. Limit. Oh, my cap sock is on, that's why. Limit. One per two, two, player. two. You're right. It's two, you dark monkey. Two, two per player. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I kind of like wanted a tower thing, and I was gonna put in like a um a fireplace thing, like with with smoke coming out of the top. Yeah. And I might come back and do that. But this place, this area is so congested with things. I don't know if it'd be a good idea or not. At all. Yeah, maybe not. So there are times I feel like this town was built on top of a lake. There are places that I have dug down and, uh... Wait, wait, you... What, what town are you talking about? Uh, the spawn. Like over by yeah, the crops. Yeah. There, there are there are times when I just mine down and mm -hmm. there's a sheet of ice. Mm hmm. Yeah. I that what I'm concerned about is right here behind the um sheep farm and between the food farm, the um, crops. They yeah. um, 
there's like this little trench dug that's just full of water. And it's almost yeah. as if it was all Ready water. There? Yeah. yeah. Almost like this was a lake at first. It's possible that it was. A lot of terraforming to do. Well, until then, I hope my viewers have enjoyed this. We know you haven't. Thank you. I knew you'd say it this time. <laughs> By the way, that's what's in the video that I was telling you about. Right. Where yeah, I, I know. You, you told me. Did I? Okay. I'm missing a lantern here. Huh. I really so did he swap out all of the all of the street lights? I am I don't remember. Sure. Were they were they glowstone before? Or were they always lanterns? I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. I know I suggested my whole entire automated street light things. Cause they were pretty cool. And people love them. And then they forgot about them. And that's fine. But until then, we hope you ha you have enjoyed this. I know what Alex is going to say. No, you haven't. There you go. And um, we will see you in the next episode. Bye.